And in today's video I'm going to show you how you can get less input delay in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 in a few simple Windows optimization steps guys. Trust me everything I'm going to show you in today's video is a brand new, I never showed this before. And if you guys enjoy content like this please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and without any further ado so let's get straight into this topic. Guys I'm not gonna lie this is still super weird for me to talk to a camera like on a daily basis. like before I maybe did this like once in a while and now it's like, I don't know, do, do you like the webcam? Let me know in the comment section below, please. I, I just want to know. And yeah guys, for this first step, I'm going to show you a simple method how to make sure that your games are always prioritized on Windows while gaming so you get the maximum amount of FPS and the least amount of input delay. And I'm quite sure everyone knows the normal um, steps here, you know, when you go into Task Manager and put the process on high priority. This is not the same thing guys, what I'm going to show you is way more advanced and better, trust me. All you guys have to do is go into your Windows search bar and type in REC until you find the registry editor just simply open it up. I already opened it up here, so I have like all the steps here saved. And what you need to head on is H key local machine. That's the first one, yeah? We're just gonna open it up until we find software and open this one up again. Then we're gonna scroll down a little bit until we find Microsoft. That's the next one. Again, open it up. And the next one should be called Windows NT, I do believe it was. Yeah, Windows NT, we're just gonna go here. And then from Windows NT, we're just gonna go into current version. And then we're just gonna scroll down a little bit more until we find multimedia. And then we find system profile. And here's the first one, guys, system responsiveness, yeah? We're just gonna double click here on this key. Those are all like Windows keys, just double click onto it and put the value here on one. This is super important, guys. Just set it on one. Don't question it, just copy everything, press okay. And then we're gonna go here in the next file. Um, there's actually only one file in there, which is called tasks. And then we can already see games, yeah? And this is now where it gets spicy, guys. We can see here we got GPU priority. We're just gonna double click on this one here and set the value on eight. This is super important guys. Other than that, don't change anything. Just simply copy everything one by one. And the next one we have priority. We're just gonna double click again onto it and change the value to six. Also super important guys. And then we have the scheduling category. We're just gonna double click on this one and set the value data on high, yeah? Before it should be like on medium, I think, for most of the people or even low, depending on your PC. Just simply put it on high because we want to have a high priority with our components, especially while gaming. And for the last one here, the SFEO priority, we're just going to again put it on high here, the value data. And if you copied everything correctly, just simply close this window here, guys. And you should probably restart your PC after this to like apply everything successfully, you know. Always these changes in the rec, I guess, three. Uh, they always need like a little restart there, you know, to everything like be applied correctly. And with that said, we're already done here with this first step. And yeah, see you guys just in a second. And yeah, guys, don't worry. I see all your comments. I can see that you guys want more optimization guides, but it would actually help me out so, so much if you could maybe take one or two minutes of your time to just comment down below which videos you want to see on my channel. Something like how to overclock your monitor to at least like 75 hertz. If you want to see stuff like that, let me know in the comment section down below right now, please. And now let's continue with the video. And yeah, guys, in this next step, I'm going to show you a simple method how you can encounter mouse acceleration or extra input delay on your mouse and keyboard since Fortnite and Windows 10 use a different scaling mode to actually like display everything and how the mouse moves around and I'm just gonna show you a secret tip you can apply actually right now here and yeah guys it's super super easy all you have to do is find the file where your Fortnite is installed so for me it's program files epic games Fortnite Fortnite game binaries windows 64 and if you scroll down a little bit here should be our fortnite exadata those are all like super important to launch fortnite and what i want you to do now is right click onto your fortnite win64 shipping exa and go into properties and there you can see now in this window here now if we go over to compatibility guys we have here an extra option which is called disable full screen optimization just simply make sure to put the check here, then click on change high DPI settings and put the check here as well on override high DPI scaling behavior, scaling performed by application. Just press OK, press apply, press OK again. And now do this step for every single one of these applications. As you can see, I already disabled here my full screen optimization, but I still have to put the thing here on the high DPI overwriting. So we're just gonna do it here for every single one. Just simply copy everything I'm doing here, guys. It's super, super easy and trust me, it's gonna help you out so, so much. Here again, compatibility, disable full screen optimization, change high DPI, override, okay, apply, okay. And we're done here with this step again, guys. Super easy. So yeah, guys, and in this next step, I want to talk a little bit about how to properly connect your devices. It doesn't really matter if you're running a wireless device, like a wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, or a wired keyboard and a wired mouse, yeah? I'm going to show you now what you need to pay attention to if you want to connect something. And in the first place, let's say you're running wireless devices like me here, wireless mouse, wireless keyboard. Always make sure to please plug it in the USB 3.0. This is so, super important, guys. I see way too many people out there 
we we'll still plug the devices into USB 2.0. And yeah, guys, as you can see here, if we're on the backside of our PC, we can see USB 3.0 there with the blue USB boxes. This is how you can recognize that it's USB 3.0. It's always marked blue. Underneath, you can see like a normal gray one that's like USB 2.0. That's all the one which I would probably recommend you to use like for microphones or stuff like that. But please always make sure to put your main devices, which should be a mouse and keyboard into USB 3.0. This is so, so super important. And yeah, I just want to show you real quick how you can identify which one is USB 3.0. And yeah, you can see the difference clearly, I think. I'm just gonna put a picture right now here where you can see like how much data actually can be transferred over USB uh, 3.0. It's so much more than over USB 2.0. So therefore, please don't make this mistake. Always plug it into USB 3.0. It doesn't really matter if you're running a wireless or wired device, always put it into USB 3.0. And I'm also going to show you an extra tip for everyone who is using wireless device. All you have to do is simply search up the edit power plan thing here in the Windows um, search bar. Just simply open it up, go into change advanced power settings, and then you can see this new window here, guys. And what you need to do, go into wireless adapter settings, just open it up, and there you can see power saving mode. And there you can see mine is set to max performance, don't put it on low power saving, medium power saving, maximum power saving. Just simply put it on maximum performance so we can make sure that we have the least amount of latency, especially with wireless device, because it can be such a huge competitive disadvantage if you don't have to set this here on maximum performance. Just simply press apply, press OK, and you applied everything correctly, guys. And again, please don't forget to put it into USB 3.0. This is so, so important, guys. Just literally do some research for yourself how much more data can be transferred over USB 3.0. And with that said, we're also done here with this step. And yeah, guys, real quick, before we're going to hop into the final conclusion, please let me know in the comment section below what you guys would maybe wish for for like a 15K giveaway, because I don't actually know at this point anymore. I already gave away free keyboards, two mice, and yeah, just simply ask for anything down in the comment section below. It should be like too expensive, maybe like in the same price range of a GK61, maybe like a Razer Huntsman Mini, maybe you wanna get like something like that. Just simply comment anything down below and yeah, we're just gonna vote it off then in the community tab. And yeah, this would just help me out so, so much guys because I wanna know what you guys wish for. Maybe like a microphone, maybe like a good gaming mouse, maybe like a mouse and keyboard setup, like a budget friendly one. Please just let me know in the comment section down below and now let's get straight into the final conclusion. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out. Peace. I've been fucking up lately, yeah, I just need my slime Rolling up a blunt so I can go and pass the time Oh my jelly kicks up in the beam and watch us ride I've been fucking up lately, yeah